Ocean Drive Crypto CMT Just here in Dubai with our brand new studio. Alex has flown out here to set up an Ocean Drive Crypto studio here in Dubai. But I'm going to bring you guys a much requested video, and that's how to set up a Bybit account. And I'm going to show you how in this video, if you haven't already, click the like, subscribe, and bell notification so that you can get these videos in real time. And I want you to share this particular video because I'm showing you how to set up your account, how to fund your account, and also how to make your first trade. And if you like that content, stick around because I got an awesome show for you. See you in a moment. Let's go. And guys, the next phase here uh, is that we're going to click on the Bybit link below in the description, as I usually mention in my videos, and just follow along. And so, guys, as you can see, we're here in the description. We're going to click on the Bybit link. You're going to come to here where it says email and type in your email. In this case, we're going to enter a uh, demo email. You're going to create a password. Guys, try to create a strong password. And you're going to click on get my welcome gifts. You're going to slide the puzzle. And now you're going to go and check your email for the passcode. And boom, guys, this is the passcode. And guys, you have set up your Bybit account. Alex, drop a bomb for him. And so let's get right back into it, guys, because you guys are almost there uh, with your fully loaded Bybit account. And so the next thing we have to do, guys, is we have to fund the account. But before funding the account, we may have to pass KYC. Well, follow me along. We're going to click on the uh, X here, get that off, and we're going to go to Assets, and we want to fund our account. And so we're going to go to the Funding screen here. You're going to choose your favorite token that you're going to fund your account with. In our case, we're going to fund it with USDT using the TRC20 chain, which in my opinion is one of the faster and cheaper chains to use when transferring crypto. So you find USDT, you're gonna to go to deposit, and you'll choose you know, whatever chain you like, but in my case, I like to use TRC20. ERC20 is another uh, popular chain. And boom, guys, we've met the KYC for signing up with Bybit. But no need to worry, guys. You're going to follow these simple uh, instructions here so that you can meet and know your customer and get your account approved for level one where you can start trading with CMT. And guys, now that you've already funded your account, you're almost at the end of making your very first trade here using Bybit. So let's go in to the system here. And so, guys, as you can see, your account is funded with your $100, which is all you'll need to start trading with CMT and win some of these cool prizes that we have to offer. And so, guys, the next thing you have to do is transfer your funds from your funding account to your unified trading account. And you'll do so by going to transfer. And so you're going to swap that around from funding 
to unify trading, we have our $100 here. You're going to hit all, confirm, and now your unified trading account is funded. And there's your funds. You're almost there, guys. Let's go and make your very first trade. But before we do so, guys, let's look at the market and let's see a good area to place a long or short trade. In this case, we're going to place a long trade using futures trading. And guys, futures trading is for experienced traders. So make sure you've done your homework and trading before you open your first trade. But I'll show you how to do it once you get the knowledge. And so this is what you guys are going to do. You guys are going to go here. And as you can see, the Bitcoin market is moving. But as I told you guys, I want to look at the Bitcoin market to see where we should place our trade. So in my opinion, guys, we're looking at the one hour chart using the 13, 34 day moving averages. And we have a bearish cross on the one hour time frame. In my opinion, I think that Bitcoin can go to this level. Let's take a look here. And this level is at $34,816. I'm going to add a little bit more to that to open my long trade. So I'm going to place an order at $34,820 in case the Bitcoin price does this, come hits my order and decides to go up, which is what I'm expecting. So the next thing you guys are going to do is you're going to choose your level of leverage. You'll do so by clicking there and choosing, you know, 25x, 50x, or something simple like 10x. Again, guys, this is not financial advice, but I'm just showing you guys how to open your first trade. I'm going to use 10x, and I'm going to confirm. I'm then going to go here and type in the amount that I think that Bitcoin can go uh, or dip down to and I'm going to put $34,820. You can choose the amount or quantity that you're willing to wager. And in my opinion, I'm going to put up the entire 100 bucks. Again, I'm on 10x leverage. So the value is $940. I'm going to click here to open my long position. Or if I was going to go short, I would click here to open my short position. So again, guys, we're going to open my long position at $34,820, clicking here. Pay close attention here, and I'll tell you why. Your order price, again, $34,820. This is your uh, size, which is 0 0.02 Bitcoin. Your cost, which is $94 minus the fees. The order value is $940. And very important, your liquidation. This means that if the Bitcoin price dips to $32,915.40, you'll lose your entire $94.99. But there's ways to stop it, guys, by using stop losses and things like that. So again, guys, we're going to confirm this trade. Now, guys, your order is in. So we'll go through what this order looks like. Again, Bitcoin, uh, USDT uh, pair. This is your quantity. This is your order price. This is when the order gets filled. It'll show you. It's the total. Uh, you're opening a long position using a limit order. The uh, status is active because you want to pay attention here. And yes, guys, that's the order time. So guys, you've set up your very first trade using Bybit. Pat yourselves on the back. You're, you're there. You completed it. Yes, you. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I know a lot of you out there uh, are not happy sometimes with doing KYC. But don't worry, guys. Bybit has created 
a Web3 platform using a decentralized exchange for you guys to trade futures. And yes, I want to dive right into it very quickly to show guys out there who, uh, guys and gals, who, you know, who just want to, you know, use the Web3 decentralized way of doing things. So what you guys are going to do, you guys are going to click on the Bybit logo. You're going to uh, stroll down here. And you're going to click on where it says Bybit Web3. And right away, guys, you see the different options that Bybit offers under their Web3 platform. And the one that you guys are going to love the most is ApeX. Yes, guys, ApeX. You guys are going to be aping into these different tokens and projects. So let's see what it looks like. You guys are going to click right there where it says ApeX. And once you click on ApeX, again, which is a decentralized exchange, a way of trading, again, no KYC. You can click on Bitcoin. This is pretty cool. This is actually really, really cool, guys. You'll simply click on Create Wallet. I'm not going to do it, but you'll click on Create Wallet. You'll fund your wallet, and you'll be able to trade futures trading with no KYC. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, guys, that concludes uh, the how-to with Ocean Drive Crypto CMT Just. Uh, click the links below, guys. You have to subscribe. Uh, hit the bell notification, follow us if you haven't already, and most importantly, click on that Bybit link so that you guys can trade with CMT. I want to see you guys on the next one. CMT Just Ocean Drive Crypto. Let's go!